Wife well, of Lagos State Governor takes Women's Conference Awareness Campaign to Badagri. Minister of State for Defence vows to lead ensures success of Northwest operation against bandits. On the foreign scene, mother and daughters die in new wave of strikes on Ukraine. And in sports, Nigerian para power lifter Esther Mwogu wins silver in women's 2024 Paralympic Games. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. Wife of the Lagos State Governor, Ibijo Kesongulu, led members of the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials, Kalso, on an awareness walk in Badagri, ahead of the 24th edition of the annual National Women's Conference, NWC. The theme for this year's conference is Soar Beyond Boundaries, Enrich Communities. Joined by the wife of the Deputy Governor, Uluremi Hamzat, and the chairperson, of the 2024 NWC Planning Committee, Ulufunke Adeyeye. The First Lady engaged women in the town, sensitizing them about the upcoming conference scheduled for next Tuesday 10th and Wednesday 11th, September 2024. During the walk, Sawolu emphasized the importance of recognizing women who have made significant contributions to their communities, drawing inspiration from the biblical figure of Esther. So I want to express her gratitude to the chairman of Badagri Local Government, Adeniro Onilude, and the Badagri West LCDA, Benu Joseph, for their warm reception and unwavering support during the visit. Lake State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, has charged community leaders to tackle sexual and gender-based violence, SGBV, saying they are key actors in addressing and preventing SGBV and should be impartial when dealing with cases reported to them. Executive Secretary Titilola Vaivo Adeni gave the charge in Ikeja at a one-day training for community leaders themed community leaders, flag bearers in the fight against SGBV. Vaivo Adeni, who was represented by the head of community engagement department at DSVA, Damilari Adewusi, said community leaders were flag bearers in the fight against SGBV by virtue of their positions. According to her, community leaders can influence decisions, policies and initiatives to address and prevent SGBV as well as shape community responses. On her part, the head of case management unit of DSVA, Tumininu Oni, said gender-based violence affects every person directly or indirectly, noting that SGBV was rooted in gender inequality, patriarchy, and power imbalance. The Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, has issued a strong warning to all auto dealers in Lagos, advising them against the unauthorized display of vehicles for sale on road setbacks, walkways, and other prohibited areas, which obstructs the free flow of traffic. This warning was communicated during a courtesy visit by the Lagos Motor Dealers Association to the general manager of LASMA, Olale Bakariuki, at the LASMA headquarters in Oshodi. Bakariuki underscored the importance of maintaining law, order, and ensuring smooth traffic flow, noting that numerous complaints have been received from community development associations, CDAs, regarding the illegal activities of some auto dealers across the state. He pointed out that the illegal placement of vehicles on roadsides, setbacks, streets and walkways poses a significant risk to public safety, obstructs pedestrian movement and increases traffic congestion. In his response, the Lagos Motor Dealers Association, led by its president, Licky Aladibibi, expressed willingness to cooperate with LASMA and other authorities to promote compliance among members. And now to the rest of the stories. 
Minister of State for Defence, Bello Matawali, has announced that the federal government is resolute in eradicating banditry, terrorism and other crimes in the northern region. Matawali assured residents of Sokoto State, Katsina State, Samfara State and Kebi States, as well as the broader northwest region of the government's commitment to ensuring their safety. He also sought the support and cooperation of the state government and citizens in driving the presidential directive to achieve success in the northwest states. Director General of the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, Yushao Ahmed, has assured Corps members that the 33,000 Naira monthly stipends will be increased once the federal government implements the new minimum wage. Ahmed gave this assurance while addressing Corps members at the Kebi State Orientation Camp, Dakingari, and Sokoto State Orientation Camp in Wamako. He said their selfless and immense contributions to the socio-economic development of the country cannot be underestimated. Ahmed also urged the core members to use the opportunity of the service year to develop themselves and plan for greater heights in future. The Director General assured them that the scheme will not post any core member to a place where their safety is not guaranteed, while he advised them to be security conscious at all times. <laughs> now to foreign news. Officials say a mother and her three daughters were among seven people killed in Ukraine's western city of Lviv during a fresh wave of Russian attacks. Lviv Mayor Andreas Sadovi said Russia had attacked with drones and hypersonic missiles in the early hours of today. The attack came as Ukraine reeled from Russia's deadliest single bombardment this year. Also, a strike on a military institute in the central city of Poltava left 53 people dead. According to officials, Lviv has largely been spared the worst of the fighting over the two and a half years of war. But last week, Russian strikes targeted its energy infrastructure, causing outages. Meanwhile, President Vladimir Zelensky has renewed his calls for Russian, for pardon that, Ukraine's Western allies to all their long-range weapons to be fired further into Russia. Now sports, Nigeria's Esther Wogu has won silver in the women's 41 kilograms para power lifting at the ongoing Paris Paralympic Games. It is Team Nigeria's second medal of the 2024 Paralympic Games after Enyo Labolaji won bronze in the para badminton. Meanwhile, it was China's Zhen Chui who won gold with a record-breaking lift of 119 kilograms. The competition was fierce, with both Wogu and Kui breaking records in succession in their quest for victory, pushing one another to a total of four Paralympic records in the course of the event. Wogu's initial attempt at 106 kilograms was the second heaviest weight entered, just behind Kui's 108 kilograms. And that's all for the news at six. Just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. On YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.com. Ng. Did you know that the Sawolu, under the Sawolu administration, Loma launched the Lagos State Blue Box Recycling Initiative? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, your other highlights of the major stories. Wife of the Lagos State Governor, Ibijoke Sawolu, led members of the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials, Kalso, on an awareness walk in Badagri ahead of the 24th edition of the annual annual women's conference of annual national women's conference nwc minister of state for defense bello matawali has stated that the federal government is resolute in eradicating banditry terrorism and other crimes in the northern region we also told you that officials have reported that a mother and her three daughters were among seven people killed in Ukraine's western city of Lviv during a fresh wave of Russian attacks. 
and in sports, Nigeria's Esther Wogu has won silver in the women's 41 kilograms para powerlifting at the ongoing Paris Paralympic Games. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at traffic radio 961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Coyote Mafolashiri. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good evening.